Hello, welcome back to Crafting in Quarantine by Arts Etobicoke. My name is Marianne Verstappen and today I'm doing a very special project and that is making mushrooms. These are mushrooms for the Toronto Mycelial Network, which is this um, really special community arts project that has been spearheaded by East End Arts. And the idea behind it is that during these socially distanced time, times, we all make little mushrooms, two by two inches, this one's a little too big, um, out of all kinds of materials. It could be anything, you know, felt, paper, paper mache, whatever. And then we, and then when we all come back together after this is over, we display them together in our different community um, arts spaces where we gather. And um, the idea behind mushrooms in particular and the mycelial network is that mushrooms are all uh, some of the largest organisms in the world because they connect with these with mycelia, which are these tiny, tiny, like little fungus roots. And um, so the, I think it's a beautiful idea. And the idea is that we can stay connected and be distant by making art together, which is what this video is all about. So thank you for joining me. Um, today, I'm going to use the air dry clay I made last week to make my mushrooms. And I'm going to show you, I mean, very much like this is a practice one. I'm going to show you how to color the clay we used and everything. So on with the video. Let's, um, let me show you what happens next. So you're going to need the clay we made last week. Um, and I mean, here's some stuff I've already colored. And then um, I'm using, to color mine, I'm using the food coloring from a few weeks ago that we were painting with. Um, and then I've got some, just some gloves, um, just mostly because as I need the food coloring through the clay, it might stain my fingers and it takes, you know, a couple of washes to come off. Um, and then I'm using some sort of just shaping sculpting tools. What have you got at home? Toothpicks are great, skewers, um, clay sculpting tools if you have them. I've got an X-Acto knife and a palette knife and um, some craft sticks. So before we start, it's just always a good tip to keep your smaller pieces of clay together in one ball um, because that um, keeps them drying out slower. So that's a good tip. Just keep your surface tidy and keep everything, all the small pieces together in one place. So mushrooms can be any color really. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a red one.
So here's how my two little mushrooms turned out once they dried. Um, and one thing I didn't explain in the video is that make sure that when, as you make the stalks, that you push them down on the table to make sure that they're flat and they sit flat. So even when they, even if they can't sit straight up when they dry, that they'll be flat once they dry. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you make some mushrooms for the mycelial network. It's going to be a beautiful project. And take care and stay safe. And you'll see me here next week. Bye-bye.